<laughs> Hello, our seven viewers. This is Vicente Cruz, event and fundraising coordinator for the Oakland Greens, and you are watching the Oakland Greens November uh, public general meeting. Uh, right now, we are going into about to start our first agenda item, uh, just uh, some discussion on the upcoming state party general virtual general assembly. And do we have someone who would like to start on that? Actually, Michael, you brought it up. Would you mind starting us off? Not at all. Cool. Thank you. Um, I, I guess people people know who who the delegates are, or if they don't, uh, we can go. We can review that. Um, what I what I was particularly interested in uh, in terms of the general meeting was. Uh, well, let me start with Luis, Luis Rodriguez. He is putting himself forward as a candidate for governor in, in the 2022 election. Um, I, uh, I have nothing against him, except that when he ran eight years ago, he disappeared. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for uh, candidates who are committed to building the party and and my question to, to him at the state meeting will be, um, unlike uh, eight years ago, uh, are you really committed to building the Green Party, uh, you know, as, as after the election or, and, and using your election, using the election process too, using your campaign to build the Green Party and to stay around after the election is over to build the Green Party. So that, that's, one, that's one, one, one of my concerns. The other concern I had about uh, this upcoming meeting was uh, the last couple of meetings, we had a lot of talk about eco-socialism. It seems to be totally absent from, from this uh, uh, meeting. And uh, I, I thought we were going to, uh, when we were, we were starting a process that would lead to a, a more formal, uh, arrangement of the party, at least in California, as an eco-socialist party. And that does not seem to be happening. And I just wanted to mention that and ask if people have any idea why that's so. Over. Thanks, Doug. Okay, I have my hand. It's actually a, a direct question uh, first and then Greg. Uh, is that uh, something as far as uh, Mr. Rodriguez, should we put for just like, you know, like maybe three sentences that could go over a graphic, like a meme asking the, anyone who's going to declare for a candidate, you know, saying, hey, are you going to stick around and, and are you committed to building an alternative political party, the Green Party? Well. And we would use it on our social media and post it on Instagram and stuff like that. Well, if you think that there's value in doing that, that's fine with me. Okay. Cool. Um, Greg. Yeah, um, going back to the eco-socialism question, um, the official state party process is that a state party working group or committee or a county party, uh, those three entities are entitled to submit agenda items. And so in the past, um, some committee or possibly a county party has submitted something about eco-socialism and that's why there's been eco-socialism um, uh, presentations but apparently this time nobody submitted anything although if you look at your agenda for the meeting closely you'll see on saturday at 11 a.m there's a to be determined time slot and at the last agenda committee meeting, somebody said, well, um, maybe we can find somebody to talk about eco-socialism. So, so I think as we speak, they're contacting um, the eco-socialism, what is it, the Green Eco-Socialist Network or whatever it's called. Um, so th there may yet be a speaker on eco-socialism then, but the key part is that if you want it to be regular, Either, either the Green Eco-Socialism group or some other group needs to regularly submit items or request 
the agenda committee to make it a regular item. So, so that, that's why the draft agenda didn't have anything there because nobody submitted it in time. Any other stacks? If not, well, my question is, can't the state do that as well, or does it have to be an individual or and or county? Um, well, the state coordinating committee, you know, is empowered to put forward agenda items, but uh, given how much, now that I'm a new CC member, seeing how much uh, stuff is on their plate, you know, they, they need somebody who's, whose main interest or one of their main interests is eco-socialism to, you know, um, drive it, to, to, to bottom line it, to say, okay, you know, we, we'll commit to putting on presentations uh, and we ask you to approve it rather than, you know, just assuming that uh, somebody else is gonna take the lead. Okay, well then what I put into evidence is that did happen. Um, the, there is the Green Eco-Socialist Network and then just the Eco-Socialist Network and the Greens put together three different presentations about it and actually had it and presented something to the state already. And it seems like the state should run with that and we're all busy, right? We're all fucking doing too much. So, you know, I, I, always, I, have, I always have an issue with that because it's just like such a dire circumstance that also the state itself shouldn't be waiting for individual counties to do after, especially they've already kind of put forth the effort. It's like, oh, here, we presented it to you and now we should hand it off to mom and then mom should take care of it. Um, but anyway, that's where we're right on that. Um, so maybe there will be. Anything else? Oh, go ahead, Mika, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'd just like to chime in there, you know, because uh, when you're talking about uh, not doing anything about the state, I think, one of the last things that we did during this past year is to get a, the eco-socialist preamble. And if you think that wasn't hard to get everybody to kind of agree with that, you know what I mean? I think that's why we got, everybody got knocked <laughs> at, the, at the thing for that. You know what I mean? But we are pushing as hard as we can. But we got, you know, we all need help get, getting it done. Well. <laughs> Just saying. No, no, and you're absolutely right. And I am recorded already on record on our YouTube channel saying this too, that I agree. And that one of the things we should be doing is taking care of internal business. So like when Greg talks, you know, about factions and people like, you know, cussing somebody out, motherfucker, you gotta go. You gotta fucking go. You're holding the back. Do you, I'm like, do you see all the tent cities? You know, black people are getting killed every fucking day. Indigenous women, girls, sorry, are getting disappeared on the daily on reservations and nobody gives a shit, right? I mean, like the, the state of emergency is so, so high that we have no time for bullshit. And if you're bringing bullshit, again, motherfucker, you gotta go. You just gotta go. And I don't get, I mean, again, call me from Philly, from the hood or whatever. Fucking, it just doesn't happen. Motherfuckers get, uh, excommunicated in groups all the fucking time because you can't handle your shit, right? You're drinking too much, you're doing too much, you're beating your old lady, whatever the fuck. Like, yeah, man, you can't. No, you ain't coming around here. You ain't coming to the barbecue. You out your mind. You want to have a good time. What the fuck I want to be <laughs> around some bullshit for, right? It just, anyway. So I agree with what you're saying. It's like, and part of that, again, that goes down the rabbit hole because, you know, some motherfuckers got to go. Well, uh, go ahead. Yes, please, Michael. I just want to say that it was my, I mean, I think that there's a miscommunication here. It was my understanding that the passage of the, of the preamble was a signal to cut, to start a ongoing conversation about turning the party into a eco-socialist party. And so I was expecting follow-up without having to do anything, frankly. I was expecting this, that the state coordinating committee would 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 uh, initiate a, a follow up uh, to the take the next step here, and that did not happen. Like in the sense of just making it, putting it on an agenda item. That, that's that's not. Right. They don't have to do anything. You don't got to write shit or anything. Like you know, we've already had. Sorry to have the discussion, and as Mr. Daniel put out already, right? That it's like the debate is crazy sometimes, but it should always be there. It shouldn't have to be you know, anything like that too. So any other 
discussion, questions? No, seeing none, moving on. Uh, so I wanted to put out, again, part about building the, the party, building alternative political parties. So we're going back to tabling starting in January. Um, I will be applying for it and we have in the outreach exactly where we're going to go. But what I wanna put forth to, uh, and of course uh, you don't, you're not uh, here all the time, but to the regular cast of characters that we commit to in uh, next year in 2022, each uh, registering three new Green Party members. And uh, and I and I'd also like to carry that to be not reread it like someone who was green and then come back actual new ones, which would mean someone un, who's never been registered before. Um, and one of the options that we have, I want to split the months. So again, we're always trying to balance the and navigate the corrupt capitalist system. Two days a two days a month at Grand Lake, trying to hustle people for donations, and then two days a month and like. I'm going to hood just trying to get people to know about voting and why you should. Um, but uh, I want to see what people think about having that challenge of three. And I see uh, Michael's hand up first, please go ahead. Well, I, I don't, don't particularly want to raise the question of the three. What I wanted to raise was the question of going back to next year being election year, that we uh, think about how to use <laughs> Our, our candidates uh, to, to party build. And for example, like if Luis Rodriguez is serious, would he be willing to come here and, and go sit at that library, you know, in East Oakland? I mean, that's the kind of thing that would, that would really help us. Um, and, and if we, if we could do, if we could do some uh, camp, you know, some meetings around our candidates uh, next year, I think would be, uh, and especially in-person meetings, uh, because we take our chances with that. Um, I I think that that's the way to go, and um, you know, it, e either we we can the the easiest thing would be to have our candidates come to the come to that library, uh, and but we but we would have to. Uh, at least uh, prepare a leaflet and hand out hand out leaflets in the neighborhood to a lot alert people that 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 that's happening. Uh, or uh, alternatively, we could uh, plan to have a a um, a special meeting, you know, uh, at some at a, at a, a different location uh, for Luis Rodriguez and others, uh, Laura. It's going to be a candidate, and so there's lots of things that that could be done this year, um, and I think that we need to be start thinking about how to how to use the fact that this is an election year to build our party and to uh, get get people get get some notice uh, for the party. Over. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Well. The first thing I, uh, you know, is, boy, we're almost at the end of November, and then there's December, and we're into mid-December, we're into collecting signatures for our candidates. Is that correct, Ray? And then when it starts about... Well, actually, actually, it starts on January 3rd, but uh, we need to prepare before then, so... Okay, and... I hadn't thought about registering greens per se, but I always kind of think about that. But my green signature, uh, I think my main focus is going to be get these signatures, you know what I mean? I don't care which party you are. If you're legal voter, I want your signature on these on things to get to help our candidates get in there without all, all those heavy duty fees, you know? Which is a good opening. Tell them where we're there. Sometimes it wins, sometimes it loses. <laughs> well, I'm going to do all of that. Um, the, as far as what Michael was saying, is that I can commit to contacting candidates that declare and offering them times to come down Ooh. when we're there, because we're going to be there every, I'm going to be there every Saturday. 
but I want to do this as something different on top of that. When we're, whoever comes to the table, and I hope all four of my regular cast here will do that sometime during the year, um, that we commit to trying to register each three Green Party members as well. Because again, that's building the party. You know, the candidates, again, I, don't, I do not have any confidence that the state has the energy to run a real candidate. I don't. They didn't, they didn't do it. They didn't fucking, uh, you know, full steam ahead and damn the torpedoes when we actually had an opportunity with the recall to get a real candidate. Um, and again, it's because of the same rabbit hole that we all talk about again, um, the, you know, factional fighting and, you know, just being overwhelmed with so much. And also I'd say that we also, not along with the, uh, not, discussing enough about being eco-socialist don't talk enough about uh, a whole just having a whole new system that you know it, it still seems like we're very much part of this corrupt nasty system as opposed to being the part going no really we want to do as an etch-a-sketch and we we treat america like it's fucking apartheid and we're going to you know we're going to redo everything um so you know, whatever that may be. So that's my, but again, on this particular agenda item, I think we, we want to do that as well. If you're at the table, that that's what we do as well. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, okay. And I guess at the table, <laughs> uh, the only uh, negative would be that sometimes I might have to use it in the humor. Because again, I'm also thinking of this as a, as a way to like hook people, it's like, come on, I need to get three people to register green. What is it? Just remember, every time you register, it keeps me out of your home at night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, just the same shit. I know. Actually, it's almost like Renfair, just using uh, improv and humor to at least stop people. Um, so then I would use Joe's, like, yes, I'm the only one in our large Oakland Greens uh, <laughs> that did it. And yeah, so you can or not, I'm going to. And I see uh, Mika's hand, and then I'll. Uh, close it there if we have to. Yes, uh, go I ahead, just, please. I have a question, Vicente, and this is just based totally on your name. Do you speak Spanish? I would not say that I speak enough Spanish to call me speaking Spanish, but okay. my, fa my, my ethnicity is on my father's side is Puerto Rican, and I have okay. family in Puerto Rico. Okay, thank you. And I didn't mean to be offended to ask that, but I was... I'm not offended by being Puerto Rican, Taino, and <laughs> African. I don't know. You know, Not just you know, that like uh, <laughs> right after, uh, uh, when I was in LA uh, for the Alameda Greens, I used to take those voter guides everywhere. I would get, to, I think North North Oakland. I went to uh, out in East Oakland, all the way out to you know Far East into San Leandro, all the way down to Fremont and on one side and, and Livermore on the other. And I always found a welcome at the Cesar Chavez uh, library. He was talking about over near the Free Bell, uh, Fruitvale Bar and it was like never enough stuff there. I Sometimes I delivered to him twice, you know. So I definitely wouldn't mind being over there. That's my area where I live, man. I'll go sit in down. The Fruitvale? You live where you live by me? I didn't know you lived in Fruitville. I live mean? right now. I'm right yeah. in Fruitville right this very second. <laughs> um, that, is, that is again one of the options after when uh, we were going. Uh, I screwed up the basketball game, but I think we talked about doing that too. Um, is there anything else on the tabling? No. I will. I will volunteer the table, but I have to pick my days. If you give me it's uh, days, and I can... every Saturday, every Saturday, starting um, in January. Starting in January, uh, it will be from on. Um, well, the the Grand Lake. I have to be there early, but we we'll say uh, nine to two. I'll be there at twelve. <laughs> yeah, story of my life. <laughs> when it comes to after the three years that we did it, if it wasn't for Michael and Jan, I'd be P. And sometimes I did because all the we didn't have anything. That was donation and sell. It was like, yeah, just take whatever you wanted. I'm like, I had to go, but they were my only break. Um, seeing nothing else that. on uh, <laughs> three degrees. Did any, everyone look at the town hall changes this time? Did we do what to the town hall changes? 
Uh, I'm sorry, you wouldn't have uh, gotten me. I only emailed it to the, the regular cast. Um, I thought I added you to something, but I'll remember to put it in uh, the mailing, the actual mailings too. Um, so I did do some changes. I still have to change them in Zoom. And then, uh, I mean, if everyone is, of course, just comfortable with me doing it. I also, from January to July, I wrote up the, um, the introductions for the town halls and sent them off to Amani. And, oh, I did. I actually emailed those changes too after she uh, did the actual text as well as just the actual uh, each month's virtual town hall. I mean, if everyone's cool with it, um, I'll go ahead and do it and start, you know, publicizing it and putting it on the website if there's no questions. What if, what about the movies? Uh, the movies are already up too. That's all that's been on the website for a while. Um, I still have to uh, contact uh, Chris. They still won't get back to me. I'm gonna have to just go in there on one of the days they're open and corner her and have her write it on the calendar. I mean, she's verbally committed, but I mean, even during the KPF election, there was some that went double booked. And again, it's, you know, it's a, a situation where, you know, she's completely overwhelmed with everything else and just trying to do so much. So do, um, do, you, do you have her cell phone? I do. Okay. I, I, I would give you her cell phone if you didn't. I have her cell phone. Call, go to voicemail. I'm in a text thread with uh, her and Will because Will was like, oh, you should always add me because he can, you know, help track her down and stuff too. So, but just haven't heard anything back. And I'm also trying to produce some other shows there. Well, um, that, well that, thank you for reminding me. Uh, uh, Chris has agreed to hold the Christmas party. Yeah. Have you, did she actually talk to her since the county I, meeting? I have not talked to her since yeah. the county meeting, but I talked to her before the county meeting, and she has agreed to hold a, a, the party. Yeah. And I need to I need to get back to her with right. the with, with, iron out the details. Right, right, right. Same thing. She's committed to it. I need to get the details and make sure we don't get end up double booked and stuff. Would a Christmas party be the second Sunday? It would. Okay. And it, yes, would. it would okay. be in place of the of Green Sunday on. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. That used to be the way, but I wasn't sure. Anything else on 2022? Not seeing any. Uh, virtual town hall, again, we got $67, nobody showed. I was not having a good day. We canceled it right when it happened. And then nobody other than Greg uh, was trying to come in late. And I'm like, yeah, no, man. I didn't, um, they were pissing me off. I was grumpy and it happened. See, in that, those situations are the same way that in-person meetings, motherfuckers get smacked after they call some woman a bitch or a cunt or something, or call them out their name in front of me. <laughs> um, so that was easy. That's all there is for that. Uh, Treasury, they, the EIN number, we're supposed to get a confirmation letter that should have been to the PO box already. I texted Don and told him to look for it. I haven't heard back. Uh, from Don since that, that was a week and a half ago or so, maybe even two weeks. Um, and I need that. That's the final piece to taking a picture and giving it to PayPal and getting uh, online donations. Uh, but right now, oh, no, that's my book. That's not how much we have. Um, but, uh, let's, look at that. We just lost $953 after uh, paying uh, PayPal for the, I have, when we get to the merchandise samples, uh, what else happened on there too? Um, the, oh, the, I said that last minute too, that Bayview actually did charge us for the, for the ad for Tracy, um, which wasn't all that great. Um, anything on treasury report? What kind of merchandise are we having? Are I, will, I will show you. <laughs> um, next one is social media report back our social media is still you know popular we're still in the same uh, realm instagram is you know talking and i post stuff and it goes very well no one's dropped off the email list uh in months um any questions on social media yeah y'all don't go to facebook <laughs> uh oh so now we're at uh outreach um and I assume that we're all in agreement with Grand Lake is okay, right? Yeah, United States consent for that, okay. So then the next place is for, again, where we're really trying to get the people, it was either uh, the East Oakland one on Brookfield or as uh, Dale and I will put out on Pika 2 is going to the Fruitvale. 
uh, public library right there by Fruitvale Bart and Fruitvale Village. Now, of course, that is near and dear to my heart because it's like half a block away. <laughs> it's really it's really close for us. Actually, it's, it's uh, closer for even Jan and Michael too if you come down um, than going all the way uh, to Brookville. But both sites, I think, are good. The only, I guess the only negative is that if we don't have anyone that speaks Spanish and we don't, uh, Fruitvale is, might have a, a language barrier, right? And, and yet they might not. Right. There are a lot of uh, oh, yeah. uh, English speakers right. there, you know. Like I said, I go down there and you have, you know, lunch or something in the yeah. plaza and go through the thing. And sometimes, usually I can figure it out if I if run into somebody. Right, right. I can't really speak very good. I mean, no, some words. Okay, cool. Go ahead, Michael. I see your hand up. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um in terms of Spanish speakers, Mika lives with a Spanish speaker, uh, a friend of a friend of ours, uh, Carlos Chase. Um, I I would ask Mika if she would approach Carlos and see if he'd be willing to uh, help us. Um, we need we need two things. One of them is the translation of materials into Spanish or not. I don't know. If we, I assume we need that. Maybe we don't. Maybe we have somebody to do that. But but also uh, someone who would who would table with us at least once a month or something, you know, at the, at the Fruitvale Bar at the Fruitvale Library, that that would be excellent. So then, am I hearing that Fruitvale will go instead of Brookfield? Is that kind of unanimous consent for that? I I, I think Fruitvale for Spanish, yes, I think so. Well, yeah, definitely, if we're looking to target that audience. Right. Go ahead, Mika. Yes, please. And, and, and oh. also, it would be a place to target people for Luis, Luis Rodriguez. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And Go ahead, Mika, people. please. Um, I didn't know this was an either-or question. I thought we were going to be trading off, going back and forth. We are, but the second spot we was not uh, the the original spot was to go to Brookfield, and then it wasn't until recently that we started talking about going to Fruitdale. Oh, where's Brookdale? Brookdale is all the way. Uh, well, see, everybody calls it East Oakland. I call it South Oakland because it's <laughs> it's actually South, um, but uh, down by Brookfield Park. But it's about eighty first and in international. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I know that. Yeah. Is it off of our needs? Yes. Yep. Okay, I know I've been there. It's got a li li uh, library right next to it. Correct. Correct. We'll be going to the library. That's what we were going to do is park out front. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. But I mean, I like I said, I am cool to do either one. Both of those audiences are exactly who we want. A lot of people who are probably not registered at all. Um, people that think they can't vote. When they can, you know, it's, it's definitely our wheelhouse. What it, what our wheelhouse has been in the past. Well, let's let's get some of the other folks that aren't what you call core people. And, and there is the other option. Let's try of, it out, you know? There is the other. I'm sorry. Say again. I'm sorry. Say it. I think we need to uh, get some. Re I know there are other people in the uh, party that have some time that aren't uh, busy and get, you know, pair them up with somebody. And you know, it, I, it's a great sentiment. And if you think that we have never reached out over all these years, I would feel okay. very, very hurt. I didn't, I didn't they think. don't show, they don't okay. fucking come out. We did the Grand, Grand Lake alone, Farmer's Market, had some great conversations, a couple of registrations, but definitely sparked tons and tons of conversation with humor. It was always only Jan, Michael and myself no one else for three fucking years never came out didn't even stop oh. by even when shake was fucking running i think he came by once oh justin came by i don't even know who that is that's so that's how fucking him that was who the fuck i don't know who justin, that is justin is on the county council lives in oakland does richardson not when we were doing grand lake farmers market he did not he wasn't he wasn't in the party then i think he did no, he wasn't. He wasn't in the party because that shake was the last year that we did the farmers market. Justin wasn't uh, in the county council then. I don't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't met him. Uh, 
No, we're 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 all older than that. <laughs> <laughs> this is long, long ago. Um, so we just like I said, then the other option <laughs> giving more is that we even split. Like we go, we definitely go trying to donate Grand Lake twice month also because i think i'd have to commit to that in order to get our get a spot uh, but then we can uh, because the library really is we're just kind of go i'm going to contact them and ask if there's room but we can it's you know public space we can just go set up on the sidewalk if we have to and we right. can put it like so you know and what we'll do is i'll just make you know a calendar and, and again since the website and social media is so popular i would just make events and say, oh, here we are. This day is at Brookfield. This day at Fruitvale. Yes, I see your hand. Please. Okay. Um, I believe it. At least it was true in uh, in uh, San Joaquin County that public offices, of libraries, and stuff, if they have rooms available, they can be made available to you free. You know what I mean? Because we used to rent one have our thing over on the side, you know, a couple of three hours, you know. So we might can even get uh, the Cesar Chavez uh, library to set aside a room. Let, well, no, we don't want a room. We want to be out in the public because we're going to, inside the library, you would need to be quiet. And we're, we're, we're trying, again, to having monologues and, you know, and dialogue with people, even if they're far away, fairly far away. So we don't want to be in a room and like, oh, come to this room and sit in this stuffy place. No, we want to catch people when they're going in and out, just walking by, not even going to the library. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really is like, again, yeah. like being at a farmer's market event. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. So again, what do we want to do? Do we want to split it? Just go to Fruitvale. Fruitvale, where are we at? There's only four of us, five now. Make <laughs> I, I think... I think we should try it. Try each of them w once, huh. okay, and then make it make a more permanent decision at, after we've at least had some experience with the uh, with the two sites. Okay, so then what I'll do for January, we'll do Fruitvale, and then February we'll do Brookfield. Okay, sound good. Sounds All right. good. Anything else on the outreach and tabling? And I will contact all of the people. I'm I'm bottom lining that. Uh, seeing none and oh and now we're at the merchandise so Ta -da! we have and we went first and i think this is the one that's going to win as far as color um the uh true the oakland greens are a true sound of liberty whoops yeah the first one on black whoops can everyone is that okay can you see yeah we can see it okay mm -hmm. So this on black, and the one that I, I know is rejected. Um, but we, we have these samples we pay for, and we can definitely put them on people anyway. On white, didn't, I didn't like it so much. It's kind of light. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then, of course, we have the green, and then my favorite orange. Oh, there's a, this is a what the actual final product would look like on whatever color we decide. So there's again the front together on black and then our old because I really like the oaklandgreens.org at the bottom is really really clear and you know and I wear it at a sporting event. So this would be I like the clench fist. Yeah and it's sports related it me, it's the three fist Tommy even though Greg Norman didn't do it but it's it's really an ode to the 68 Olympics. Uh, oh, where's the other color? Oh, here's the orange, which this was just my favorite. Oh, this is actually has the final product complete to Oops, make it straight greens and then the GPO back. I like that. Yeah, I love you know, and this again, it's completely selfish because this color looks good on me. <laughs> when we started when we started uh using that color like for dogs i was like oh make it look good on me um and i also we can change the yellow i like the yellow but we can change it i don't think it, it does too well on the green itself too we I could change it to black or red or something but this is what it looks like on green so we're only uh picking a color for the first run and i'm thinking black and orange black and the rest pull it up pull it up 
Okay, here's the, let me find the one that actually has the whole final uh, picture on it. Whoops. Oh, and I forgot to, she just clicked. We didn't ask uh, for this sample or we don't have a quote. And I actually have the prices for twenty a run of 25 and 50, but she also did this, which I think it, the, this particular logo did come out good on this little bag or whatever. Like like a book bag or a grocery correct, bag. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. So it's something for the future, especially if they take, take off. Uh, anyway, holding them up again. Here's the complete, what it looked like on black. Yeah. Yellow and then. Hold it up, hold it up. Oops, okay. And then. What, what's the Korean say again? True sound of liberty. Okay. Oakland Greens are a true sound of liberty, which we are. As much as I bitch and everything else, I wouldn't keep coming here with this regular cast, and there are a couple of people missing, if I really didn't believe it when I said it, that I think that you all here have some of the really best critical thinking political minds here in the Bay Area. Although I guess some people could say, oh my God, what does that say? <laughs> you ain't saying too much. The bar is low. Uh, sorry, and here's the orange. Okay. Although even it's it's a little in person, uh, this is like the camera making the light in person. It's more, uh, I don't know, on your screen, like one side is lighter, one side's dark. The darker is what it actually looks like in person. It is like a real rust color orange. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the back. What 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 should, what's what's your thinking about sizes? Uh, I would uh, do medium to two x, so like a couple of in each color of each size, but medium, large, extra large, and and double extra and large. double x. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, and if uh, what Orlando and I think when we talk about the next uh, graphic. I think if it takes off a cell, we'd, we'd actually be able to expand those sizes, right? I, th I think we have uh, with even the Spanish translations, which we don't have a Spanish translator that could translate like all of our literature, but Don has committed like any time if I wanted to translate like a phrase for just even a graphic or a meme or something that he, that he would translate that. That's the ones we have from Spanish, the, um, again, all written out, the uh, Oakland Greens are a, tr a or uh, Oakland Greens are a true sound of liberty and um, Oakland Greens. Oh, sorry, that uh, consensual non-monogamy is a Green Party family value uh, was translated into Spanish. Um, okay. But yeah, so, but I think, I think we will, uh, we'll be able to expand sizes. So, oh, okay. and then the actual- uh, how, how much, how much are they costing? Right, the full cost. I think well, at the end it was like 17, a shirt no I have it here uh -oh, I may have to get my old man glasses out let's see we already got that one like these which one is <laughs> oh here we go 25 uh 288 dollars and 10 cents now I meant how much are we charging people to buy them oh actually I was thinking 50 dollar donate a 50 dollar donation the Five first I thought Thought I yeah at first I thought forty but I think fifty. I think that's I think that it's going to be a tough sell. Well, what price would you like? Like I said, they're about seventeen eighteen dollars a shirt, so round up to twenty dollars a shirt. Okay. Um, twenty five, twenty thirty, thirty yeah most. Any other? I would still say forty. Dale Gregg. Mika, come on, folks. Maybe thirty dollars. I, I would aim yeah, there's, there's another thirty. Okay, great. Well, me, did you say thirty as well? Me, yeah. I didn't say it. Oh, you didn't say any. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> no. Sliding scale, thirty to fifty. Ah, okay. Look at that. Throw it in there too. All right. You can always do that. Make it thirty or, or yeah. Okay. Actually, I like that one too. Everyone okay with that one? Sure. As long, as long as people can buy a share for 30. Right. All right. Done. Easy, easy, easy. So now the next one, again, is hopefully something where, like Orlando and I talked about um, the last meeting and before, and it's just, a, again, about a consensus that the general public won't think that if it says 
consensual sense, no monogamy, that the Green Party is for just trying to wipe out monogamy altogether. Um, and in that debate, even if some people are going to think that, that particular like phrasing and stuff, for whatever reason, kind of has a hook. And we think that it would sell even better than the ones that we have here. So what I'm as a consensus to just be able to, if after we do, whenever we do our next one, that that be the, and it, we'll do it in English. Actually, we do it in English and Spanish. Okay. I have a question about whether the uh, merchandise is going to be displayed on a, one of our web pages. Well, of course, yes. And okay. they'll be able to actually even do it uh, online. They'll be able to, once we get our PayPal, they'll be able to order them online. and. Okay. And taken to them too. And then we'll bring them to the tables as well. Um, so we'll actually, we'll have something that we will have to guard. <laughs> um, when it will although I guess you could also make the argument too, if they stole, unless they just stole our shirts and then just destroyed them. them. If they stole them, just start wearing them. It's like, okay, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I have free advertising for us. <laughs> Is the sliding scale price going to appear on the merchandise website? Yes. Yeah. We would put all that information. Right. And maybe even a story of, of how it came about. And, you know, I don't, because I, the, another reason why I'm going with, not, I am just so surprised that somehow that's like the bear that got poked. I've been trying for what we've been really kind of growing since Rosa. So it's been like two, almost three years now since the pandemic and trying to get people to engage on Facebook just to talk and debate and can't find nothing. I'm like shocked, fucking crazy music, like just every nothing, nothing, nothing. Post a fucking video about it, uh, talking about making a graphic that had not monogamy. It wasn't even just the no monogamy, right? It was the one that just was saying that, oh, uh, being included, it was the phrase that made, oh, we're just being inclusive of everyone. But somehow that poked on Facebook, it fucking went crazy. And so, because I post them also to a lot of Green Party sites. So I'm, I'm an admin uh, on Veterans for uh, Green, Green Party, Veterans for Peace. Uh, of course, the Alameda County one, the Oakland Greens, the state, uh, the national, also on Washington, um, still involved, uh, kind of connected with Washington State. I have uh, people up there that I know. And uh, so after, but I just was surprised that that's the one, that's it, right? Not the, our take on, again, writing an entirely new system or our take on education or housing, you know, when you talk about cafeterias and all this stuff. But no, that's the one that drew all the debate. So I don't, I don't know. Can I, can I uh, go back for a minute to the, yeah. to the table? Yes. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit, of, make sure that we, we're on a, a, the same page on what literature are we going to have on the table? Um, what, what, what do we have, what have we agreed to? Um, and what, uh, uh, we, we, we need, and how, we, how are we gonna produce it? Right. Well, we always can print. I, I will print it out in black and white. And we have the two versions of the women's rights uh, trifold. We have our education trifold. Uh, we have our green vision trifold. Perfect. Um, I, 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 I want to have things that, that we have lots of copies to hand people. You better believe it. Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's my concern. Thank you. Right. And, you know, we still have uh, a whole bunch of those, the cards that you and Jan I got from years ago back at the Bradley Farmer Mark, like the NBA. Oh, and people yeah. seem to like those quite a bit yeah. too. That was But they're not, but they're, they don't advertise the Green Party. No, no, but it's just something to get them talking, you know, it's, yeah, it's sure. drag them to the table. You know, the same thing as like standing out there going, no, walk by our table, everything's fine. You've got enough money to send your kids to college and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with that. Um, and it is, yeah, season two was going to be fairly quick today. Announcements. Are there any announcements? Huh? No. Seeing none, I move we adjourn. Great. You have been watching the Oakland Greens November public general meeting. Uh, thank you again to our seven viewers on YouTube. And we will see you uh, in December and then hopefully see some of you in person at the January at the uh, free dinner and a movie discussion series. And of course we are doing the virtual town halls, bring your own and uh, next year as well. So see you later, everybody. Good Bye. night. Night. Night.